Hello, hello everyone. Today is a very gloomy day. It's still 2.30 in the afternoon, but look at the weather. It's so dark. So I'm just waiting for my water to boil because I'm going to make tea. And then today we're just going to have a little chat as to why we moved to Tasmania, Hobart, to be specific, and the cost of living here. So the idea to move to Tasmania or somewhere regional came at around late 2018. I just finished my diploma in accounting by that time and we felt stuck because as you know diploma in accounting doesn't have a, a pathway for PR. And initially we wanted to go to Northern Territory and do bachelors in nursing. But then the agent said, why not just go to Tasmania and do master's in accounting? Because um, if we do Bachelor of Nursing in Northern Territory, my partner won't have unlimited work rights. And the tuition fee is around almost 40000 per year. So, which means that he cannot work full time to pay for the bills and for tuition fees. So at least one of us will be able to work full time so that to be able to cope up with the um, expenses. So we tried to apply to UTAS, University of Tasmania, for my master's in accounting. And I got an offer for the February intake. So we went with it because, and also after that, I got an offer too with um Charles Darwin University in Northern Territory but we went with Tasmania because it's closer to Melbourne my sister is in Melbourne so we won't be too far and then the family of my brother-in-law the husband of my sister is from Hobart so in case um we need help with something or you know it's it's better if you know someone who, leave, who lives in that area. So it was just mainly because of the benefits of studying regional plus the added points for PR. And then just do your own research for PR stuff because and for visa stuff because I tried to post visa stuff but people messaged me that it's not allowed. So just do your research. But um, so far life here in Tasmania is so quiet compared to Melbourne. Um, we only have two Kmarts here in Hobart, and then I'm not sure how many targets, maybe three, and then Big W, I think three or four, I'm not sure, but there's not a lot of shopping, it's all trees and mountains, and it's very different from Melbourne, if you like this, the provincial life, the nature nature scenery then you will have fun here but gets a little bit lonely so i think if you have a family then you'll be fine and it's just that sometimes if you need to buy something you have to buy it online that's just it that's just the main problem here because there's no dfos and you will be forced to be a minimalist here so and also, job opportunities are like, it's hopeless. It's not really hopeless unless if you know someone, but um, for me, I tried walk-ins, 
and online applications but some people called me because I have experience in Melbourne as an office uh, as an admin and office admin and accounts officer but um they want me to work full time so I'm not able to work full time and so I just decided not to work and then Jimmy had Jimmy got a job as an aged and disability carer because way back in Melbourne there was a three month course for certificate three this uh, age individual support something like that so we grabbed the opportunity so that he'll get a certificate and he'll be able to work here so um, also if you're going to find a job here um, they're a bit old school so you really need to go and walk in and sell yourself rather than applying online because everyone here is looking for a job so chances are like one in five thousand maybe so cost of living here rent this place that we're renting is a flat it's a two-bedroom flat and it's so small i'll show you this is our room and this is the outside and that's the room of our housemate and this is the kitchen so that's it and this is worth four hundred dollars a week so rent here is very expensive it is very expensive and um back in melbourne we paid for we paid 240 dollars per week and that's already a one bedroom unit but this one is 400 dollars per week two bedroom unit and what more if you like rent a house it's like 500 dollars per week 700 dollars per week um the room that we rented before is 195 per week for couple and it's already including bills internet but i think that was the best that we could find by that time and it it's already very cheap considering the rental crisis here in tasmania so for a couple usually um it's it would range from 250 to 300 for like a one bedroom and then if you're going to rent a house it's going to range like 450 to maybe around 600 maybe that's maybe two bedroom house and then of course this unit this unit turned to garage but yep and then what else transportation Um, we have green card here. It's the metro card. And um, the maximum cap is $9 something. So we don't have a pass, like a weekly pass, like the Mikey pass. So the fare here is around $2 or $3 if you're not using the metro card. And then if you have the metro card, the green card, it's around dollars plus and if you're doing concession it's around one dollar ninety i'm shy the neighbors are here okay they're gone so that's the parking spot and then they live upstairs so they can see me from my bedroom and then so that's the green card so in one week when there was no quarantine yet going to school i would spend going to school and going back home i would spend maybe about five dollars per day and um the gas here is the same everywhere i guess so we spend around maybe 50 to 60 dollars per week 
I think if Jimmy has lots of um, shifts for that week, it's we we pump up the petrol. I don't know how they say it. Nagpapagas kami every week. So, <clears throat> tapos usually it would last one week and a half. And then groceries, they said it's a bit expensive down here compared to Melbourne. It is true because they're all organic here and they want the quality ones. So our eggs, like for example the egg, the cheapest one that you can five is find is three dollars and fifty per one dozen and that's the cheapest. Not like um in Melbourne that we have Aldi which you can just buy for like one dollar plus and then I think you can see a little bit of difference maybe in cents. Um it's a bit expensive here. Then back in mainland, and then I'm just comparing Tasmania, Hobart, and mainland because um, we've experienced life there as well for a year. And it's really more convenient there rather than here. We don't have wet markets. So groceries, before we would spend $100 per week, so groceries. But now we try to budget it. To $100 per fortnight so so far it's been doing good and then what else phone bills it's um, my phone bill is $40 and it's Woolworths and Jimmy's phone bill is $45 and it's Vodafone and hmm. Also, the electricity is about, it's quarterly, and we just paid it. Uh, we paid 107 for our part, our share, and then the housemaid pays her share. So, the way we divide it is, for example, 160 yung bill. So, we divide it into three, and then we pay um, two shares. And her share so that's the same with how we do the gas bill so we just paid the gas bill too it's 112 for both of us me and Jimmy and then her share so gas bill and electricity bill was around 160 or 170 so okay lang kasi I'm very tipid most of the time it's just me here at home so my housemate is working full-time and Jimmy is always at work. So if it's just me, I don't turn on the heater. I try so hard not to use electricity and gas. Gas kasi usually for luto lang and need shower. And then our water, we the water is included in the rent so wala kaming water bill i'm not sure how much din yung water bill usually so yun yung utilities also i forgot um yung sweldo salary here is not so high but if you'll take masters and then you're with your partner then kaya yung tuition but your partner really needs to work hard it's um it's a never-ending process and it's like ano talaga um work hard talaga both of you you study you do your part and then partner needs to do his part too see si jimmy yung partner ko he's always doing double shifts and um he never sometimes he won't sleep na just to catch up with the bills and the tuition fee but i know someday everything will all be worth it so um if gusto niyo pumunta dito chat me kasi wala akong friends so chat me and let's be friends <laughs>